It wasn't too long ago we were tearing down the Surface Pro 2 and lamenting over its dismal score of 1 out of 10 on our repairability scale. Come to think of it, the original Surface Pro scored a 1 as well. The Surface Pro line has been the stuff of repair nightmares. Will the Surface Pro 3 be deja vu all over again? Let's get the Surface Pro 3 on our teardown table and find out. Hi, I'm Gwendolyn with iFixit, and today we're tearing down the brand new Surface Pro 3. The Surface Pro 3 is Microsoft's attempt at creating a tablet that has the power of a laptop and the portability and functions of a tablet. Right off the bat, you'll notice the Surface Pro 3 is larger than its predecessor, measuring in at 292.1 millimeters by 201.4 millimeters by 9.1 millimeters, and weighs in at 800 grams. Other than the increase in size, the Surface remains pretty similar in appearance to its previous generation. One thing you will find different is the updated kickstand, which now allows for a wider variety of positioning. Before we started cracking this thing open, we checked out the mini ports, including the full-size USB 3.0, mini display, and cover port, and if you're looking for a micro SD slot, you'll find it underneath the kickstand. We decided to use the same method of entry as the Surface Pro 2, which means heat and lots of picks. But we weren't even halfway around the device when all of a sudden, the display cracks. Microsoft worked hard on making the 3 more portable, even going as far as making the display glass thinner. This does not bode well for ruggedness or repairs. My advice, get a sturdy case as soon as you can. We would never let a cracked display stop us from continuing our teardown. With a little packing tape applied to the cracked areas, we continue around the surface of the surface. Alternating blast of heat from our eye opener and gentle prying from our picks, we're finally able to get our first look inside and, wouldn't you know it, it looks pretty much like the inside of a surface. Freeing the display proved a little more challenging than expected thanks to some unfriendly metal spring brackets, but once our spudger had its way with them, we were able to remove the display. This is, or was, a 12-inch clear type Full HD Plus IPS LCD with a resolution of 2160 by 1440. On the other side of the display, we notice the touchscreen controller that is affixed to the back of the display. This little guy is what provides the necessary tech that allows the Surface Pin its pressure-sensitive abilities. After a long battle with the display, our techs felt the need to take a breather and tackle something simple. How about the SSD? It's just held in place by a couple of screws. This little guy has a 128 gigabyte capacity and was manufactured by SK Hynix. To get a closer look at the battery, we had to scrape and scrape a tar-like substance to free it from the rear case. Think we're joking about the amount of adhesive? Well, the residue left after scraping the battery out was strong enough to hold this inverted pint glass. Microsoft does not skimp in the glue departments. As careful as we were with removing the battery, it still ended up looking a bit different by the time we got it out. This is the 7.6 volt, 5,547 milliamp hour battery that Microsoft claims will give you up to nine hours of web browsing. Before we got to the motherboard, we had to deal with a ton of dark, sticky adhesive. And once we did, we were able to free this slim board that is home to the five megapixel front facing camera. Next to come out was the fan and heatsink combo unit. This cooling unit resembles a laptop cooling system more than anything we've seen in a tablet lately. And maybe we found the reason why below it on the motherboard. The motherboard is home to the brains of our Surface Pro 3, a fourth generation Intel Core i5 processor. The Surface Pro 3 can also be customized to have either an i3 or an i7 chip. Other chips of note on the motherboard include the 8GB of Samsung LP DDR3 RAM and the Marvell Wireless Bluetooth 4.0 and NFC combo chip. There's not much left on the Surface Pro 3, just a few odds and ends. First up, the everything cable, which was glued to the case and included the headphone jack, volume and power buttons, and the vibrator. Next were the micro SD and charging ports that only took the removal of a couple of screws to get out. And lastly, the rear camera came out. It, like its front-facing counterpoint, is also a 5-megapixel camera. I guess Microsoft is not really looking to capture the tablet photographer market with this version of the Surface Pro. We've come to the end of our teardown, which means it's time to talk repairability. At iFixit, it's our mission to teach people how to repair everything. So we give every gadget we tear down a repairability score between 1 and 10, 10 being the easiest to repair and 1 being the most difficult. The Microsoft Surface Pro 3 scored a dismal 1 out of 10, and here's why. On the positive side, the SSD can be replaced. However, doing this repair risks seriously damaging your tablet simply by opening it. 
And on the downside, the display assembly consists of a fused glass panel and LCD and is extremely difficult to remove and replace. There is tons of adhesive holding everything in place, including the display and battery. And finally, the delicate and arduous opening procedure leaves no room for mistakes. One slip up and you'll be out of the screen. And that's our teardown. For the complete teardown, including tons of beautiful high quality images, head on over to ifixit.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest teardowns and repair videos. You can follow us on Twitter at ifixit and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash ifixit.